Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Flying 180 Motorsports weekend schedule. <clears throat> Excuse me, weekend schedule. First one of 2020. And uh, I was getting the itch, as you know, in some of my um, current news segments for a, a weekend schedule because there is a uh, little uptick in activity. So I figured now would be a perfect time to uh, revisit everything. So here we are. Welcome. Uh, a couple things on the schedule I'd like to review with everyone. And as you've seen on the uh, Flying 1ET Twitter stream, there is uh, quite a bit of action over at uh, the Circuit of the Americas today. So let's start off with some live action over there. Boom. So here we have the uh, live timing from uh, the six hours of um, over at Austin, Circuit of the Americas, with Rebellion Racing leading. This is... Uh, what segment is this? This is free practice number two. Uh, there's still 29 minutes and 12 seconds left in this, but uh, as of right now, we have Rebellion Racing with a uh, on top of the charts, followed by Toyota Gazoo, and that's in the LMP1. Yep, and then the LMP2. We have Racing Team N Netherland and United Autosports. Let's see, where's the? Uh, let's take a look at. All right, here we go. We can sort it this way. And then LM GTE Pro, we have the Porsche GT team, uh, both in the first and second position, followed by the uh, two Aston Martins. And then we get into the A, of course, and the uh, Corvette Racing with uh, Mike Rockefeller there. Cool. And then the LM GTE uh, AM with Golf Racing and Aston Martin Racing, followed by Team Project One and the AF Corsa. So a lot of onboard action going on. Uh, very nice stuff, and you can jump into some of those cars. I did post the um, links to the onboard stream in the in my uh, Twitter feed, so definitely take a uh, take a look over there. I you know I've done Circuit of the Americas in some sim racing, and um, it takes a little bit to get into a flow. If if you've been on other tracks. I don't know how to phrase it. It's just that it has a different flow to it. It takes a little bit more to find your rhythm. But when you do, it, it's extremely rewarding. Really rewarding track. A real fun track to race on. Um, so looking forward to this race. But once again, we are in the free practice number two at Circuit of the Americas. The Lone Star Le Mans. 27 minutes left. We're going to move on. Uh, another activity. Another race this weekend. We have... Boom. Uh, Las Vegas Motor Speedway. We got that race, uh, and we have at the end of practice number two, we have Jimmy Johnson on top, Clint Boyer, Eric Amarola, Kevin Harvick, Matt De Benedetto, Ross Chastain, Kyle Larson, Ryan Blaney, John Nemechek, and Alex Bowman. So cool beans. Um, looking forward to that race. I don't know what the weather is, but I'm sure it's hot as it usually is in Vegas. And usually the uh, drivers, when you see them in uh, interviews about um, preferences of, of their favorite races through the season, um, they like Vegas, but they always say, they always mention how hot it is there. So um, good to see. Let's see how, we, how we're doing with everyone else here. Let's go through the top 20 and 11th. Martin Truex Jr., followed by William Byron, Joey Logano, Kurt Busch, Chris Busher, Ty Dillon, Cole C uh, Custer, Bear excuse me, Brad Keselowski, Dan uh, Denny Hamlin, and Christopher Bell. So looking forward to this race. It should be fun. Um, Daytona was a solid race. Um, obviously, the ending was was pretty hairy uh thank goodness that um ryan newman is is okay it was good to see in such a quick recovery in such a short period of time uh especially with that final post and tweet i believe where of him walking out of the hospital uh holding both of his daughter's hands so um god bless thank god he's all right we're gonna move forward into nhra it's never a complete weekend without a little nhra and here we have a little summary of what's going on right now. We have Steve Torrance, who takes the uh, top fuel pole uh, Friday at the uh, Arizona Nationals. That's going on this weekend between today and tomorrow. And then we have uh, 
Matt Hagen is on poll in the uh, provisional funny car poll, I should say. And Jay Coughlin, uh, stock poll. Let's see who else we have here. Um, that's it, though. I, you know what? I should have looked up on this where this is airing. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be on broadcast TV. A, a big event like this usually you can find on some of the big networks. Um, but looking forward to seeing more of this. This is, uh, here it is, TV schedule. I apologize. Fox Sports 1. So that's going on. Um, that was yesterday. And then tomorrow from 3 to 4 and then 9 p.m. to midnight. Awesome. Very nice. We're going to move forward into the uh, little supercar action. I've missed it. I really enjoy supercars. It's good to see it back. So here we have a little, little countdown. Five hours, 59 minutes until race number two. And this is, once again, um, the Adelaide 500. Let me get the official name. The Superloop Adelaide 500. But let's get over to the um, race one results and see how everyone did. And we have Jamie Wincup, followed by Scott McLaughlin, Shane Van Gisbergen, David Reynolds, Will Davison, Cameron Waters, Chaz Mustart, Mark Winterbottom, uh, Rick Kelly, and Fabian Coulthard. Awesome. The usual suspects. And if we look at this just quickly, Rick Kelly finishing ninth, up seven spots in that race. Scott McLaughlin um, finishing second, up five spots. Good for him. Congratulations. And Jamie Winkup, look at him, leading start to finish. Wow. 150 points. Nice way to start. Excellent job to uh, the Red Bull Holden racing team in the now... Dead man walking Holden Commodore ZB. Unfortunately, the Holden brand getting the uh, axe will be uh, coming out of uh, Australia. And they may be pulling those cars before the end of the season. I don't know. We'll see. Um, unfortunate. Really unfortunate. All right. So we're going to go back to the uh, title screen. And... As I'd like to uh, always point out, this is live on Periscope. Any questions, comments, any particular stories you'd like me to cover? Before we head out, uh, just one thing I'd like to look at, and that is, um, as usual, what we have over at Motor Trend On Demand. Um, this is always a great source of live streaming content. And if we take a look under the Watch Live tab, let's see what's on the schedule for this uh, weekend. And what we have is, okay, so we have the World Endurance Challenge over at Circuit of the Americas. That is going to be airing at 6.30 p.m. this evening, followed by the uh, Supercars Race 2 at 8.15 p.m. tonight. And then we get into the Asian Le Mans Series, um, four hours what is that? Forms of what? Barcelona? No, not Bar Asian in Barcelona. Whew, my bad on that one. Of uh, Burram. Okay. And that starts at 11.15 uh, p.m. And then we get back into the supercars. Um, and then we're going to get over to uh, back to Circuit of the Americas. So that is what's on the agenda for Motor Trend On Demand this weekend. Great streaming service. Um, I'm not sure if they have any trials right now, but definitely worth the money. I've hold, I've held on to this sub, um, subscription since the service started, and it's only gotten better. So I highly recommend it. Definitely check it out. Um, and I look forward to future uh, weekend schedules as the more genres, racing genres, start to take action and take to the track. We're going to see a bigger and bigger schedule. Uh, I know that some of these uh, broadcasts on the weekend schedule have taken up to – 30 40 minutes to do just of how much racing action is uh going on but for today not a bad start uh once again questions comments you can always throw a message to me on twitter flying 180 motorsports uh as always this video will be archived on the flying 180 motorsports youtube channel uh and uh, 
stay up to date on current events that I might be attending on the Flying 1AT Instagram. But thank you very much for joining. Hope everyone has a good evening, and I will catch you very soon. Bye-bye.